Hello everyone and welcome back to AJ Club Sports. Thank you Club Sporters and today we will be talking about the GR Yaris and GR Corolla handbrakes. And this is a big topic because it impacts the fun that we have with our cars. Before we get into this specific topic, I would like to just share some metrics with you. As you know from the last video, we reached and surpassed the 5,000 subscriber threshold. So I went to see my metrics. And in fact, I see that almost 70% of people that are actually watching these videos are still not subscribed. So if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and put on the notification bell like the video if you do, and uh, you can also evaluate a membership program. Why should you do this? It's not only for me, it's also for you, because if you are enjoying my content, more subscribers will give me more weight with the production companies that make the actual parts, apart from what we make in-house. Therefore, this means that more subscribers will have me send more parts to review and in return give you information about. So please do that. Now let's get into the topic of the day. Handbrakes on GR Yaris and GR Corolla. Number one, stock handbrake. So stock handbrake is a very, very good unit, especially when you keep your car stock, because this gives you the possibility of locking the wheels through a simple handbrake and also disconnecting the rear differential through a trick system that has a switch and basically transforms your car into a front wheel drive car until you put your foot back on the gas. So I don't know if everybody is aware of this, but the fact is if you pull your handbrake and you do not put your foot back on the gas, the car will continue rotating much faster than if you put your foot back on the gas immediately. So this can be also a driving tip for those who didn't know this or didn't think about it while doing it. So do a test uh, in some free space, parking lot or whatever, and see the difference because it's there and it's very interesting. Then when you will get a more advanced with it, you can also once you put your foot back on the gas, start getting used to using the left foot on the brake in order to tailor exactly your drift and see how and dominate how the car has the posture during the drift. Even if it is a very slow drift, for example, drifting in circle around a friend of yours, this is how it's done with the left foot on the brake. So, my car is uh, around 34,000 kilometers now, and uh, although I had it adjusted a couple of times, uh, the, the, the handbrake line, I, I feel that uh, uh, probably my boots, uh, brake boots of the handbrake that are inside the hub assembly under the rear discs uh, are wearing out. But also I have felt for some time that uh, the power of this handbrake was not good enough uh, for such a high mechanical grip that my car now has, thanks to the Weborg arms, the Verkline arms, the Boss suspension kit and all the tweaking that I have done and the Pilot Sport 2 cup, cup tires. Therefore, this brings me to point number two. When you want to improve your handbrake on a GR Yaris, you have basically two routes. One is uh, that I discovered not much time ago, by the way, is that uh, um, the company Endless Brake is actually creating and selling some brake boots for the handbrake for the GR Yaris that are improved with a better material. And these are already available across Europe through the various uh, GR Yaris uh, distributors. Uh, that sell online, I've seen them, and I think they're between 250 and 300 euros. So it's not a small expense, but I think that knowing endless, these will work very well and also last a long time, longer than the stock ones. So uh, for me, this is something very, very interesting and I'm looking into it. But today, my friend Chris Pelloey from England send me something very, very cool. So let's say that you decide to keep the stock 
brake boots or you want to put the endless ones on. But in any ways, he has built this. What is this? This is a handbrake lever, 3D printed in a very strong material that basically enables you to take off the front cover from the other one, insert this one that has a pin that does not fall out once it's installed because it actually has its locking point inside, but it also has this hole that goes with this pin. So basically you can block your, uh, your handbrake button with this pin and uh, obviously if I manage to block it now, yeah, there we go. And obviously this uh, will basically do the same function as if you were keeping your thumb down on it. And this means that you can just grab the lever and use the handbrake in this way. Then when you finished having fun, you just take the pin out and it's done. Another very interesting part of this product is that you can uh, basically fit the stock leather trim that is behind it, the trim boot, and put it. So you will have uh, basically an OEM plus look at it. So I will put the email of Chris down in the description. I think he's selling these now for £75 or something like that. So it's quite accessible and I think it's a very fun addition if you're planning on going on with the stock handbrake and or an improved handbrake from the stock form uh, thanks to the, the endless uh, brake shoes. And this is this. The next option is of course the possibility of installing a hydraulic handbrake. As you know, I come from the, the world of uh, rally racing as a driver, then uh, as a car builder, so I've seen a lot. And I've also seen various applications on the GI Yaris. And my oh my, I have seen uh, some shit going on, on these uh, installations on the GI Yaris that I don't like at all. So how does it work? Uh, let's let alone a full race car because it has a different kind of setup because a full race car has uh, two uh, physical mechanical hydraulic pumps under the brake pedal and then it has a third pump uh, that intercepts only the rear side pedal and this uh, uh, let's say is attached to the handbrake itself and this blocks the, the rear calipers. Uh, on Group N cars historically for example on Evo Rally Group N cars uh, for regulation it was needed to, to keep uh, um, parts of the stock, uh, the stock braking system in its place. Therefore, most of the lines were still uh, the stock lines. And uh, they came out with this new generation of pumps that had actually two entrances and two exits. And this is what they use on the GIRs. So basically, what you have there is a pump that uh, intercepts the two lines that are going from the front brake servo to the rear calipers and uh, runs through this, uh, this uh, pump here and uh, goes back to the calipers after it. So you're basically intercepting this with your handbrake. And this is all good to this point, but I can tell you that already on race cars, sometimes uh, I found race cars that uh, did not have the right dimensioning, the right sizing of the handbrake pump itself. And this time led in certain occasions to cars where I remember one year, many years ago, I was driving this, uh, this uh, Fiat Abarth uh, Group A car that was very, very hard in everything to drive, hard brake pedals and hard uh, hard suspension and I was jumping all over the place but I was also flying with it and um, it also had this really really hard uh, handbrake and this is because the diameter of the handbrake pump was too big. Then you go to other cars and you see that the movement of the hydraulic handbrake is too much. So the, a, a proper hydraulic handbrake needs to have 
a movement that is contained uh, in about one centimeter to two, two and a half centimeters. So very, very small movement. And I'm more between the one and two centimeter movement or even less. Uh, as a fact, if it has a minimum of graduality. And the way you use it is not just pulling on it for your life like happens on, 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 the, on the stock ones you find in normal cars, street cars, but you usually use it in this way. Tuck, 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 tuck. And these movements are very small and you feel it very rigid and you feel it moving a little bit with you. So you get the sensitivity. And what you're doing is you're progressively blocking like an ABS. So you're, you're, you're making your car rotate in a controlled manner. So only maybe in certain situations or in gravel or, or in bad mud and dirt, you just give a big pull to the lever, but still you must, you may come back to the lever and give it a couple more. So I have seen that uh, on the GI Yaris, there are problems on this when you are installing a, a hydraulic handbrake. Why? Because there is a direct relation between the size of the handbrake's hydraulic piston and the, the size of the pistons in the rear calipers. And the, the tuner needs to get this exactly right. I have seen all other quite famous tuners also here in Italy that have done uh, uh, systems where you see, they show you in the video, oh, look how cool we've got the hydraulic uh, uh, handbrake and they, they pull it like for, I don't know, seven, 10 centimeters. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? It's not a progressive brake, it's a handbrake. And this is the play you want. Tuck, 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 not doom, doom, doom. Another tuner even arrived to the extent because he couldn't get it right using the, 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 the pumps. Obviously, he just wanted to cut it and make it quicker. He installed other two calipers just for the handbrake on the rear. I mean, this is something you don't want to do because you don't want to increase your non-suspended masses because two calipers more in the rear is like adding, I don't know, minimum uh, something like two or three kilos more where, you know, we're doing everything we can to reduce that weight of non-suspended non masses. So if you want to go... Um, with uh, a hydraulic handbrake, uh, uh, I advise you strongly to ask who is selling you the parts to show you how their own car works because they must have some kind of demonstrator and to make these specific questions because otherwise you can end up with uh, this beautiful handbrake that you can brag with your friends when you go for your aperitivo or whatever. But then when you're using it, it's just useless because it looks like a gear lever, not like a real ha handbrake. So this is my 2% and this is again cutting a bit of bullshit uh, because, you know, when you're driving the car and you're going really, really fast and you got this handbrake, <laughs> this is dangerous, you know, and you want things to work well. So all in all, if you're still treating your car, if it's not a full race car, a good suggestion is to get yourself some improved brake um, break, uh, boots for the back. Uh, possibly this item from uh, Chris Pellowy that you will find in the description is a very good item in my opinion. And just take it from there because I think that it's an incremental improvement that already will work very, very well for most of you. Also because... In my opinion, who has very wide tires, like 265s, should not be concerned about handbraking because they're only doing tracking and not much of uh, gymkhana or rally driving, all the same, because they've already lost all the playfulness of the chassis for gaining a lot of grip that is perfect for pure track use. So guys, this is all today. Uh, I hope uh, you will like this video and please let me know in the comments what you think about it and I'm going to be answering as usual at your disposal. Have a good one. Bye.